Thank you. Hello, good evening, everyone. And uh, at first, in, uh, firstly, I, I beg your pardon because my English is uh, very uh, bad because I'm uh, a beginner in English in this uh, wonderful and international uh, language. So I try to do my best. <laughs> I'm delighted uh, to be with you today, and I would like to welcome each of you and to thank especially Reverend Father uh, Columbus Stewart uh, and his team in uh, Himmel, and also uh, Dr. Daniel Brunner and all the team in Collegeville Institute for Ecumenical and uh, Cultural uh, Searcher. It's even evident for everyone, as you know, uh, that there is a long and complex history in the culture of Iraq. And actual Iraq is very complicated because it's the old Mesopotamia, this old land in between the biggest two rivers, Tiger and Euphrates, who were mentioned in the Bible, as you know, especially in Old Testament. It's the land of many antique civilization like Sumerian, Akkadian, Chaldean, Babylonian, and Assyrian, and also Persian uh, after, and Ottoman, and Arabic. It is the territory of any Bible, many Bible events, especially uh, Jews, prophets like Abraham, Daniel, Jonah, uh, and Ezra, and, uh, and others. The Christianity was brought to Iraq over 2,000 years ago by St. Thomas and Thaddeus, two of Jesus Christ's first 12 apostles. The first Christian community was born in the Jews diaspora in Nineveh and Babylonia. Community especially, many ruins now in this day, we found it in the first church around this area was going up to the first uh, century. Since that time till now, this Eastern Church was suffered, but still there, and we hope to stay there. I want in this evening afternoon to show you and share with you uh, some of photos around our Christian history uh, we can starting a little bit before. Uh, this is the map of Iraq. This is a new Iraq with the new names, as you saw, as you see: Mosul, uh, Duhok, uh, Baghdad, Erbil, Basra. This is new, but the old one is here: Ashur, uh, Akkadian, Sumerian, Babylonian and many else, many uh, like Zekurat, Ur of uh, Chalde, uh, as you see. This is the Tower of Babel, Babylonian, uh, where the uh, language uh, beginning and uh, going through uh, Mesopotamia to everywhere. This is the Zekurat, maybe also it's uh, some kind of uh, uh, gardens or some kind of uh, Babel tower. This l line of uh, Babylonian uh, showing the power of uh, this civilization. Here as you see uh, the cuneiform uh, scripture here in Babylonian. As you know there are uh, seven uh, steps or of Babylonian because many generations com coming over each other till, uh, till Nabucodonosor and some kind of uh, sculptures as you see this cuneiform uh, sculptures <coughs> this is the harp of Chaldean it's in gold is Asur Banibal, is Lamaso, 
many, many statues like that, head of man and uh, body of uh, many kinds of animals. Is dragon. inside of Babylonia. Many ruins, as you see. The oldest church in Iraq going up to the, the end of the first century, uh, between 1995, uh, his name is Koche. But here you see uh, some uh, ruins of another church, uh, Bazian, is uh, near Kirkuk, where is a lot of petrol. And this church, going up uh, from uh, 4th century, end of 3 and beginning of 4th century. Here is a map of Kurdistan in the north of Iraq, <coughs> as you see there, and Bazian is here many monasteries and many churches from uh, three and four century. <coughs> the Kurdistan government try to protect all these vestiges and uh, ruins and maybe restore it in the future. This is the Eastern uh, Cross. It's very famous, this kind of uh, uh, cross. We use it till now. Here's some group team of uh, uh, Christians and Muslims, Kurdish Muslims, uh, try to detect all these vestiges. Somebody say that there are more than one half million of uh, uh, sites in, uh, in Iraq. We don't discover it till now. A lot of them uh, concerned Christian and uh, historical uh, sites. This uh, Latin church, Dominican church, where I'm living here, is the oldest uh, uh, church uh, Latin church in, in Iraq. And the first uh, clock uh, is a gift from uh, Eugenie, uh, the wife of uh, uh, Napoleon III, umpire. Yes. And he's in the north near uh, Alkosh, the Virgin Mary uh, church. He's St. Matthew, uh, Orthodox monastery where I teaching there in uh, their seminary. This is Rabban Hormuz, you know it, uh, Father. And here in Tilkev, another church, many church. Just in Mosul, we have more than uh, 30 uh, churches. But now you, we use just m four or five churches because there are nobody else there because of the terrorist uh, situation and uh, fighting. This is the Armenian church in Baghdad. It's a new church. We built many uh, new churches, especially in the north, because most of popul uh, Christian population uh, since 2003 uh, living Baghdad and Mosul and Basra and everywhere in Iraq and trying to go to have more peace and more safe in the Kurdistan region or going out of uh, borders to Syria, Turkey, and uh, Europe 
and America also, and Australia, and everywhere. Uh, we have just in Mosul more than 15 to 20 uh, church uh, transform and church into mosques. Because uh, through the years and many centuries, uh, they try to put us out of our land. Uh, the Muslims, especially uh, fundamentalist and uh, uh, groups, fanatic groups, they try to push us out of our land and transform and change our church and monasteries uh, in the mosques. As you see, his is the monastery of St. Jonah in Nineveh. And there are tombs inside of this monastery. And in the uh, 19th century, they transform it, change it into mosques. Here also, very old church from four or five century now is mosques. Is that the Tigris? Uh, uh, many Jewish community in Baghdad and uh, Mosul and uh, Dahog, Zaho, uh, and there are many uh, synagogues also. This is a synagogue in, in Al Kosh. I don't know, you, you see it, Father mm -hmm. Columba? For next time, I hope. <laughs> this is the tomb of uh, Nahum, Nahum uh, and his sister Sarah. But it's uh, in the ruins now because it's not protected. As you see, it's very dangerous to going in. And uh, I take many uh, photos inside. Our bishop in, in, in Al Kosh and Father Philip there. And a Dominican priest is uh, named Van Gang, is a specialist of uh, Hebrew, Old, uh, uh, Old Testament uh, scripture. As you see, all in, in Hebrew. It's a very, very bad situation, uh, this monument. And we start with 2003, uh, with the invasion uh, of Iraq. And a uh, lot of problem uh, start, uh, not just uh, to all the population of Iraq, but also against, and especially against the Christian. Because as you know, the fanatic groups considerate us as American. Because uh, the Christian, we have the same religion. They say, Americans are Christian, and you are Christian, so you are our enemy. So they attacked us twice <laughs> more. And uh, bombing and uh, troubles starting against the uh, Iraqi population, and especially against us. These are many trucks, American trucks, as you see going uh, day and night uh, through the roads and the uh, f groups and the uh, mujahideen they uh, try to attack uh, these trucks and attack uh, american guys so they putting bombing and many explosions here near our church just uh, 10 meters And they, they attack our church more than 15 times. And now we have no windows, no doors, and uh, we celebrate the mass uh, in uh, the cavity in underground. Like the first uh, community. As you see, this is our uh, glass and windows in the church. One try going on this car. This is a Christian, uh, our neighbor. He's very sad for his car. <laughs> and when the uh, American uh, force coming there, they try to contact us, especially our uh, bishop's council. Uh, I'm a member there. And they're trying to uh, discuss with us what we need and what we uh, thinking about the situation and what we propose and uh, what's our proposal to future and uh, I think that they do nothing <laughs> for us. Uh, this uh, bishop uh, 
Faraj Raho, uh, he's a martyr. They killed them in uh, 2008. We invite them time to time, and every uh, Sunday, they come to celebrate Mass in our church. Uh, many kind of Mass and uh, prayers, uh, not just Catholic, but also uh, evangelic, and uh, there are some Jews also with them, the American guys. And they try to attack the fanatic groups, attack the Christians, especially the students. Uh, we have uh, seven big buses like that going every day from uh, Karakosh to Mosul. And the fanatic groups, they attack them uh, uh, through uh, two uh, checkpoints and many, many kills and many wounding, as you see. They don't want the Christian going to the university. But it's very dangerous for us in the future because uh, we have no uh, students and uh, everyone try to going or leaving Iraq. As you see, I know him as our neighbor in uh, in Karakosh. It's very hard, sure, to our community there. This is my church in, in Mosul. As it is very old, but all is broken now. And we can't celebrate now because uh, at the first between 2005 till 2007, uh, we celebrate every, every day in this church. Uh, sometimes through the mass, during the mass, uh, many explosions happen and many attack against our, our church, but we continue to celebrate and pray. Many uh, kills. So, Martyr Bishop, two, one year after this uh, photo, he's, he became martyr. This uh, young priest also, Ragid Kanni, with uh, four another uh, priests are killed also by the terrorist groups. He's a very friend with me and we are very friend. And uh, suddenly someone take us a photo and between two martyrs. And my name is the sixth one to be killed, as you know, because I'm very dangerous uh, one. <laughs> as you see. So, uh, they don't kill just the people, uh, innocent people, but uh, the situation uh, doing that uh, many and a lot of our heritage are going on and destroyed also, especially our uh, museums and our uh, manuscripts and our archiving. So, I think I do, many of uh, our archiving and manuscripts are uh, burned uh, because they attacked our uh, monasteries and uh, our church. So uh, I think I don't know how, uh, how to try to protect our heritage. And since uh, one, uh, 1990, 1990, I tried to uh, photograph and uh, restore some of uh, our important uh, manuscripts. And we found in, uh, our center in 1990 uh, in Mosul uh, to digitize uh, our uh, heritage. As you see here, I, put, uh, I make this logo for our center. Uh, this is the map of Iraq and uh, Laika manuscripts, in fact and with four uh, principal uh, languages. Uh, at the top, of, as you see, Chaldean, Eastern Aramaic, and Serto, Western Aramaic, 
and Arabic and Armenian. And in the middle, we put the uh, DVD or CD with the uh, illuminated of uh, St. Thomas and Jesus Christ. Because St. Thomas, as we say, as you know, is the first disciple who coming uh, to Iraq and through Iraq going to India. This is our center. This is our center for Eastern manuscripts. What a two hero, and <laughs> they try. <laughs> <laughs> they try to protect our heritage in Iraq. Uh, uh, since 2009, uh, Father Columba coming uh, for the first time, I think, that time, coming to Iraq, and he tried to uh, speak with me about uh, Hemel, and I tried to speak with him about CNMO, and how we can uh, sharing uh, our heritage and working together to put all this heritage in the service of uh, uh, scholars and uh, professors and the, all the humanity and to protect it uh, at the first. This uh, our our library. Many many old books, boxes. Uh, some of them going up near. Uh, uh, Gutenberg printer from beginning of the 16th century. We have uh, one of the, 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 these books uh, from 1550. And many, many manuscripts also in very bad situation with the humidity and uh, our damage. This in Aramaic, uh, some of uh, illuminated and miniature, as you're seeing here, the first, uh, pay, first folio of uh, the old manuscripts, uh, very big. <coughs> as you see here, we're using this uh, cupid card to give the dimension and the name and uh, also the uh, exact colors to all the manuscripts. Many, many tons and kilos of uh, this old papers and uh, manuscripts, a uh, lot of them also are in parchment. We try to collect uh, uh, this collection from the monasteries, church, and especially uh, from the private collections, and it's very interesting. Some of them is very big, as you see here, and she's very glad she's she walking. Uh, uh, my team is uh, between 10 to 12 a person, a specialist in photography and uh, preserving manuscripts. This is a parchment, and we try to protect it and uh, restore uh, what we can restore. We try to save uh, all the papers and folios uh, are going on, uh, and we collect it uh, from everywhere to put it together. This is a collection of Mardin, some of uh, photos. lot of dust and a lot of uh, dirty inside and uh, some kind of candles inside and sometimes we, uh, we see also the skin of uh, uh, serpent or uh, many kinds of animals inside of uh, <laughs> these collections. And sometimes we try to restore uh, some of them and put it in, uh, in computer 
and make some uh, cataloging uh, in Arabic especially and Aramaic and in uh, Serto. The cleaning of the Armenian uh, manuscript. Which is very easy eh, to, to hold. It's very big, more than one meter. And digitize it. Uh, this is the last set, uh, last, last set uh, collection coming from uh, the north, uh, uh, near uh, Amadia. It's very recent, these this, uh, photos. They sent it to me. Uh, Ten days ago. hero <laughs> and we put a uh, lot of them in uh, DVD or CD especially the private collection and bring it again to them here we are <laughs> so sometimes we have uh, darkness uh, outside but we have a lot of light uh, inside of us and we uh, keep the hope uh, the future especially with the future uh, person and Christian as you see here we try to walk in with them and uh, teaching them uh, prayers and faith and knowledge this uh, Christian community Uh, we have more than seven different churches in Mosul and uh, Nineveh and we're walking together, all of us walking together and sharing everything and uh, take a deciding all the decisions, important decisions together. Because where we are, where we are uh, minor minority, we try to walk together and to be more uh, powerful. the retreat in the north and uh, his became the new patriarch uh, Mar Luis Sacco Dominican community in Mosul and we working also with the poor people uh, we have a, a hospice to uh, homeless and poor people in Mosul. More than 25 to 30 families. We try to help them and keep them inside of uh, our building and give them uh, all the needs. Here I am in, with the Kurdish people, Muslim people in the north, in Kurdistan, near the border of Turkey. And here a uh, Christian community in al -Kosh. And sometimes during the mass or prayer, rosary prayers, uh, there are no place to everyone inside of church, so uh, they're going out uh, like the first uh, Christians. It's in our uh, monastery. And we have many... Uh, College, Babel College and also many uh, theology circles and institute uh, for the students. This is in Baghdad. Uh, we have an open university in Baghdad and more than half of students are Muslims, Shia or Sunnah. And we try to thinking together uh, about our future to see how we can walking uh, and love each other and uh, 
uh, to new Iraq in the future against the terrorist and uh, uh, th this violence. A lot of students and people we have in our institute. And we're hoping to future, <laughs> learn them how to walk. <laughs> and his uh, Dominican father, he learned, <laughs> he learned to the young people how to write and uh, sign his name. <laughs> some conference and some retreat uh, we're doing to priests and bishops. And many uh, sisters, uh, nuns, uh, this uh, Franciscan uh, sisters. <coughs> We still to baptize the child and uh, prepare the future of our church. Sure, our number uh, may be going till half of our uh, Christians. Uh, in uh, 2003, we are uh, around one million and half of Christian, because all the population of Iraq are uh, 33 million. Uh, so now we are just around one half of million, maybe less that. So more than half uh, they are leaving uh, Iraq and going out of uh, border. We still in hope and smile to future and sometime our church are uh, empty but still to pray some of us inside. And we keep quiet in prayer and many hope the future of a Christianity in this world in trouble, try to smile and be staying with the future. It's our church turning to the, uh, to the sun maybe and with darkness we can see also the light. Thank you very much. Yes, Father. Uh, how many Kurdish Christians are there? In fact, uh, all the Christians, all the Kurdish now are Muslims, Sunni. But there are a very big community of Christians living there. Because before uh, Kurdistan, they are uh, Assyrian region. And the empire of Assyrian are especially from Nineveh and Nimrud till the uh, Armenian uh, country. So uh, the Christians and Kurdish are mixed together there. They uh, spoke also Kurdish and Arabic and uh, Aramaic because our mother language uh, is in Aramaic. And if you want at the end, I can pray uh, our father in, who are in heaven in, in Aramaic if you want uh, uh, and singing it. If, uh. So uh, there are maybe now more than uh, two percent of uh, the population of Iraq of Christian living in uh, in Kurdistan area. But the, they're living in the Kurdistan area, but you don't have any Kurds or a Kurdish a community which is Christian. Now we have, because with the, since 2003, uh, with the American soldiers and force when they came in, were, uh, coming in Iraq, they brought with them many evangelic uh, church groups and they tried to convert a lot of uh, Kurdish. And there are one uh, village, small village in the north, extreme north, all the village, Kurdish Muslim village, they became, with the mullah, they became Christian and the mullah became pastor. Now, <laughs> and uh, many, many, because we, ha we, uh, we, are, we have freedom now in the north, we can uh, change the religion uh, without any problem. But we can do that in Mosul and in Baghdad. 
they kill us. But uh, now we, uh, it's uh, possible in the north. So I think uh, they're starting many, but we haven't uh, statistic, we haven't uh, exact uh, number of uh, percentage uh, how many Kurdish are Christian now. Uh, just one second. Big yes. Question. What language uh, uh, family does Serto belong to? The Serto? Yeah. It's Aramaic. It's a new Aramaic. A new Aramaic, a new Aramaic yes. Because there are uh, two kinds of new Aramaic, uh, Eastern and Western. Uh, so uh, Western are with spelled Serto, and the Chaldean, the Eastern one. Mm -hmm. It's very complicated, yes? <laughs> <laughs> but for me, it's very easy. <laughs> Not like English. It's very <laughs> difficult. Where would be the greatest uh, Chaldean uh, diaspora? Community? Uh, the biggest community of uh, Iraqi Christians are in Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> now i have been there uh, four days ago and it's a great mass in Chaldean in their church and they say that we have uh, eight uh, church, Chaldean church just in Detroit. Eight and uh, around 10 priests and one bishop and another bishop uh, in Santiago. So we have two Chaldean bishops in, uh, in America. And uh, we hope maybe uh, around the, the number of uh, our community just in Detroit, more than uh, 180,000 uh, people. So it's the biggest community uh, uh, in, in uh, Chaldean community in, in Detroit. And second in uh, Australia and uh, Sweden and Europe also. Uh, in general France and uh, German especially. And some of them in Turkey is staying there or in Syria but uh, the situation is very bad in Syria now as you know. Yes? Uh -huh. uh, are there any uh, Coptic Christians in Iran? Uh, sorry? Coptic? Coptic, Coptic yes. Is, very little church there, very little community, not very big, but uh, under Saddam Hussein uh, regime, uh, he invited a lot of uh, Egyptian uh, workers to come uh, to Iraq to work during the war between Iraq and Iran. Uh, so uh, all the young people going to uh, soldiers to fighting, and the Egyptian to walking, in, in, uh, staying in, in Iraq. So now we have <clears throat> maybe one or two churches in Baghdad and Mosul of Coptic community. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Dan? Several times you've, meant, you've referred to the, the government. What government are you referring to? Are you talking about <coughs> the government in Baghdad or the government in the north? Mm. And, and what were, you have, your church has most relationships, I would imagine, with the government in the north and not the south. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Very good question, because I, <laughs> it's very difficult for us also to understand, because we, are, we, have, two, uh, we have one country with two governments, huh? in the north and in the middle, in Baghdad. In the north, it's uh, just depend uh, of Kurdish people and many uh, administrations and uh, ministers and um, all the government, complete com uh, government. Uh, it's separate with the uh, central government. So, uh, in fact, we haven't uh, very good uh, government now because, as you know, after 2003, uh, we changed Saddam Hussein and we, they killed American guys, kill them. But uh, at that time, we have just one Saddam Hussein. Now, we have more than 100 Saddam Hussein. More than 100. Because everyone tried to be a new Saddam and uh, fighting against another and the ethnical uh, crash between them and religions. And so, so sure, it's Tohi uh, Bohi. Now, it's uh, destroyed everything. And they... Uh, the, I think they're doing very bad 
and they uh, imposed to Iraq a very bad situation because they destroyed all the infrastructure of, uh, of our land. We haven't uh, good electricity. Every day we have just uh, four or five uh, hours in electricity. We haven't every time. time. We haven't uh, water every day. Uh, maybe every three days we have just one time of water, so we have to keep it uh, in Saturn or something like that. And all it's broken in, in Iraq now. So just in Kurdistan, we try with the government of Kurdistan to try to restore everything, and it's open. So you can come to Kurdistan region, where we are uh, very near uh, our monastery, without visa. We can't come there, uh, like, as we say, uh, Iraq now is the 51 state of America. <laughs> yes, Father? Uh, yes. Uh, you, you were saying about your community in Detroit, mm -hmm. uh, which is very strong. And also, <clears throat> you have Christians back in uh, Iraq. Mm -hmm. um, which community do you feel that are more faithful to the Kantian tradition mm -hmm. and the liturgy? Whether it is in Detroit <laughs> or in, in Iraq? Iraq, in, uh, Iraq? I think now, uh, in Detroit, I try to celebrate the uh, liturgical tradition uh, since the first century, sometime maybe before Jesus Christ. Uh, so they are very, very traditional, as you know. <laughs> they, they pray <laughs> some, some kind of prayers, we don't uh, remember it. So they try to going back. As you know, we, we are foreigner, we going, we're living in a foreigner uh, country, we try to keep our uh, tradition. So we became more a Catholic of the Pope. <laughs> Francis Pope. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Yes? Of course, you were preserving the, the texts. What were the nature of the texts? Were they primarily scriptural, scriptural commentaries, monastic commentaries, or the whole gamut of things? Thank you for your question. It's very good I, because I, don't, I can't say everything. The most of them, as you know, till now, since uh, 1990, we uh, digitized more than five to 6,000 of uh, old manuscripts. Some of them are parchment, as, you, as I say. So most of the texts, uh, scripture, are in uh, Aramaic, hmm? old Aramaic, in uh, Garshuni, and also in uh, Serto and in uh, Strangelo, and in Arabic, Aramaic, and little of a Kurdish and Persian text, and Ottoman text. But, and the subject, are, most of them are uh, around uh, Bible and liturgical text, and some of them also in historical, very interesting in uh, patristic uh, theology and uh, spirituality, and some of... Uh, them are also uh, uh, spoken about the medicine and magic. As you know, the Oriental people, the Eastern people, they believe in magic, a lot of them. And so uh, we, we, we can see everything. And especially in history, it's very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, Father. What do the ordinary Iraqi people think of America? <laughs> I, I shame to say that. <laughs> <laughs> very shame. Because. It's very helpful for us to know that. So, I, uh, you want to be clear with you? <laughs> and uh, honestly, uh, at the beginning, when they are coming in Iraq uh, in March, uh, 20 March or uh, 2003, everyone, Muslims and Christians and all the population, applaud to them. And in one of uh, my preaching uh, during the mass of American guys, soldiers in our church, I tell them that you are our savior, our Jesus Christ, because you uh, save us from this dictatorial situation and very bad situation. This is during just six months. We consider them like a savior. But in fact, after one year, we uh, seeing that it's not the same thing. They don't do anything good 
just to change Saddam, but it's not good also, because uh, they put another people more bad than him. And they don't build the hospitals or uh, schools or uh, roads, and the, they don't restore anything, just destroy. And especially our libraries and our uh, museums, as you know, it's very, very rich population and very rich, especially in Baghdad and Mosul and Basra. Uh, very big and old heritage. So they don't keep it. Just they keep the Ministry of Petrol. Uh, petrol? Petrol? Petrol. Just they put uh, soldiers around uh, this ministry to protect it. And they don't protect the museum and the church and nothing. Till now, would they put the government, uh, maybe two or three or ten guys from each ethnic. And all the ethnics uh, are uh, against each other. So the situation now is very bad. We don't know how, what they're doing good for us. Sure, so they don't think doing something to love them and thinking uh, good uh, about them. We, we know and we are sure that the American uh, population, they don't accept that. They don't want that. But the policy is different, as you know. And we can't say anything. But now the situation, sure, in some kind of uh, direction is better. We have internet, we can going out of our borders because under Saddam it's not very easy to us to going out of borders. Now we are free. But uh, as you know, the freedom is not good for everyone. Sometimes the freedom is very, very dangerous for who they don't respect the freedom. And especially the democracy is very dangerous for the uh, Oriental and uh, Arabic uh, thought they don't understand what's the meaning of uh, democracy. Uh, everyone uh, doing as, uh, as you want against each other. So it's not the, democracy is not the same in America and in Iraq. So we are in a very bad situation now. We don't know how to going out of the situation. Sorry for that, but <laughs> yes, Father. Armenian In fact, the government tried to uh, give money to many uh, specialist uh, people to restore what is still there and to protect uh, our, our heritage. But the most beautiful and important and oldest uh, manuscripts and books, boxes uh, are stalled. It's not here. We don't know who, who stole it. So we're walking just with, uh, with what we have and try to protect our archiving and our uh, heritage uh, manuscripts uh, in the museums and in the private collections. But the best things, uh, we haven't it now. It's going out, we don't know exactly where. Some of manuscripts going up to uh, three century, third century before Jesus Christ, some parchment in Hebrew. You know, so the uh, thieves are professional thieves. They are not uh, simple guys. <laughs> I think we have time for one more question, and then folks can continue the conversation. Just, yes. Just Father? Yes. Let us to the future of your church. <coughs> Your new patriarch, yes. uh, his beatitude, uh, Sarko, okay. has made an appeal to the uh, Christians or Catholics there to stay back okay. in Iraq mm -hmm. uh, to be a community there. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the measures that the church can take in order that there is the ancient Christian community back in Iraq? We hope that, but I think it's, uh, <laughs> it's very difficult to the families when they uh, lost everything in Iraq. 
They haven't house, they haven't job, they haven't anything. Now they living in very good situation in America or in Australia and everywhere. So I don't think that they will coming back there with nothing and uh, without safety also because situation is very bad, still very bad. So I think we dream <laughs> in this situation, but we hope that to staying and we hope sure I'm first to say that and I'm going back in in March uh, May sorry to ba going back to Iraq again and walking in Mosul and Baghdad and uh, going uh, on to to digitize our heritage so it's very dangerous I know but we hope that to still as uh, this uh, young uh, kid uh, he hope I know him now he's like that and he, uh, he looking to future and they don't want leave Iraq. They say we're staying here. So pray for, to us, for us, and thank you uh, for all the uh, uh, American population and hope the government changes policy uh, about Iraq. Thank you very much.